Runway just dropped their latest AI video tool, Aleph, and it's pretty crazy. You can now transform videos with just a text prompt and a reference image. No complicated editing software needed. In this video, I'll break down what it is, show you some examples, and tell you if it's worth your credits. What is Aleph? Aleph is a new feature inside Runway ML. One, it lets you edit or transform existing videos using natural language prompts. Two, you can also use reference image to guide the style or look that you want. Three, Runway says there are no strict rules for prompting with Aleph, but simplicity works best. So keep your prompt simple. So first go to your browser, type in runwayml.com. So this is the Runway interface, right? So if you come down here, you have all tools. You have all tools. So this is Aleph. So if you click on it, it takes you into its own interface. But because I already have some videos that I want to use for this class, I'll just go straight up to my sessions. So up here, you see you have sessions. So sessions are basically the project that you've created with Runway. So I click on sessions. So these are the videos I've generated, but I've not converted them using Aleph. So I want us to do it together. So I click on my project. So this is a character of a lady singing. Let me play it. So no audio, no voice, just video alone. So if I want to use Aleph, I will come down here and click edit with Aleph. So once I click edit with Aleph, it brings the video here and down here is asking me, what do I want to do? For this, I will say, give me another camera angle of this shot. So let's hit generate and see. This is done. Now, this is the image we imputed or the video we use, and this is what Runway came up with. So let's play it and see. And I think it looks so much like her, but from a different camera angle. So let me play this video for example. Wow, this is mind blowing. The face looks the same, which is good. Second, the environment is still the same. The mic is still there. The headphone is there. The fact that you can easily do this with just a single prompt, it's crazy. I've done a lot of projects using different AI tools. One of the most challenging thing I've encountered is getting that consistent character when you change your camera angles. But for this, this is just crazy. One of the things I will pick out from here is that this earring that is here, I don't think this is the original earring she was wearing in the reference video. So this is powerful. So I've done a music video using Runway before now, and I know the challenges I had to go through just to even maintain a consistent character. Well, with this Aleph, I think this is just making it a lot easier for her. Let's try something else. So I have this video of a chef doing his thing. So what I want to do here is to take out the chef from the scene. So in a normal VFX pipeline, you have to paint this guy out of the scene, and that takes a whole lot of time. So let's see what Aleph can do. So let's say take out the chef from the scene. All right, so generates. So this is a scene of the chef. So can you imagine? Is this not magical? As you can see, it maintains the same movement in the original shots where we have the chef, you know, staring this. If you look at this, it has cleaned out the chef in a very neat way and we still have the spoon. So this now looks like magic. So it has done this within five minutes. So if I was to paint out this chef using my normal vfx software it will take me a considerable amount of time this is amazing so let's move over to this one one of the other things that left can do is that it can generate crowd in this scene where i have this guy in a press conference i want to add more people behind him so i go back to edit with Aleph, add some few people behind him so i'm going to click on generate so let's look at these shots. It has successfully added a lot of people behind this guy. I don't know what you think about this, but I would love to hear your thoughts. Kindly drop them in the comment section. This is mind blowing. I want to try something else with this, our character. For this, what I want to do is to see how we can change her wardrobe. So let's say, okay, replace her dress with a red for cool look at this i'm just speechless it has successfully removed 
address and change it into a red for ports. What do you guys think? What are the possibilities you see with this? Please kindly let me know in the comment section because this is absolutely mind blowing. This is crazy. What else can we do? Okay, let's try something else. Make her into an old woman. It generates. So this is done. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so this is the old version of this lady here. So you can see, yeah, the headphone is still there. The dread is still there. The face, well, so what do you guys think? Do you think this old woman looks like this young lady here? What do you think? Let's move on to something else. Let's try this scene here. I change this into a night scene with heavy rainfall. So let's see what Aleph would do for us. Generates. It somehow changed it to a night scene. Of course, we can see some, we can see the rain behind the guy. The rain is definitely not touching this guy. Maybe this will, will give this one maybe 20 or 30% score. With Aleph, you can also use a reference image. For instance, like the image you are seeing on screen now, I'm going to use it as a reference image. So if you are using a reference image, you are basically asking Aleph to copy the style of that reference image into the video you want to create. So by style, it's basically the ambience of that particular reference image, the lighting, the look and feel. So let's bring in that reference image here. So you click and drag it here. As you can see, the reference image is here. I'll just say, okay, change this into a night scene using the lights style and the reference image. So let's go ahead and generate. Okay, so what we can also do while this one is generating, I'm going to take out this reference image because with our left, basically, you can change weathers, right? We've tried the rain scene, but even though down is not looking as real as it's supposed to, but let's try something else transform the environment into a snowy winter scene. So this is the reference image and this is the video we generated. So as you can see, it basically took the lighting style from that reference image and transferred it into this one. If you look at the guy's shoulder, you can see that orange feel or orange lights on his shirt, which is good, but I'm not seeing so much of it on his face. His face still looks a bit dark, but I will say this is still fantastic. All right, so it's done generating the snowy scene. Interesting. All right, this is good. Let's try something else. Let's say you change the camera angle to a long shot. So let's see, because we're trying to just push this as much as we can to see what we get from it. I don't know if this face is the same as the reference image, I don't know what you think. The fact that we can create multiple shots from one single video reference, I think it's crazy. And there's no telling where AI will lead us to. So I can change this car into any car that I want or into any object that I want. I come down here again, I click on edit with alert, change this car into a Mercedes Benz G wagon. Okay, so as you can see, we have a Mercedes-Benz here. The only thing that I would say here is, in the original footage, if there's someone driving that vintage car, but this one, there's nobody in this Mercedes-Benz. Do you think this is useful? And in what cases will you use this? Kindly let me know in the comment section. Now, moving on to cost. Now, here's the catch. I left cost 15 credits per second. That means, a five second clip would cost you 75 credits. And right now you can only generate up to five seconds at a time. Personally, I think it's powerful, but the pricing feels steep, extremely steep. 75 credits for a five second video, come on. But what do you guys think? For me, the results are impressive, but not flawless. If you did this effect with a traditional VFX backline, you'll get better results, but our life is brand new and it's only going to get better from here. So what would you use Aleph for? Drop your ideas in the comments. And don't forget, this Thursday, I'm releasing a full tutorial on how I made a music video using Runway and Google Video 2. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it.